Okay, the project is open. Now here is a, a window. There are some window, when 2D window, we can close. And uh, one three D window, we can close it. And uh, there are some uh, we are seeking windows. We can close this window one by one. Okay. Now, if you want to open the window, just uh, click window here, and uh, you can click. The window that this is a 3D window. Okay. Okay. In today's class, we need to uh, again to to the seismic interpretation and the structure analysis. The first is seismic in data input. Last class, we have inputted the seismic data here seismic data click just click here and uh, if you want to hide the real section you can unselect the cross section unselect okay if you want to hide the wheels you just uh, unselect all wheels and uh, these points are wheel tops. We can unselect the wheel tops height. And uh, here, and we, if we want to show the framework of the seismic data, just click here, survey one, and uh, seismic data, just click, click here. We can get the framework and the coordinates of the seismic data here. Okay. And uh, if you want to show the wheels, just uh, click wheel, all the wheels. Okay. And uh, here, now, in the 3D window, here is uh, is um, the also, graphic camera is off, and uh, we click here. Here, also graphic camera. Now it's on. The camera is on, so we can get the this click here. This is view from above, and uh, we can choose some other view. The first is view from above, and this second is view from below. Third is view from west, and uh, view from east, view from south, view from north. Okay, now we can turn, turn around, turn around. Now, the next step, here, if you want to cut the, cut the seismic, seismic data, I think the seismic, uh, the scape of the seismic data is, uh, is too big. I need to uh, change the scale, scope and uh, right click here, right click seismic data and uh, insert virtual cropped volume, virtual cropped volume, okay. Now here it make uh, 
new system get data crop crop now you can and here became green point square need a square of it's a square of green uh, need a green square you can use the mouse to move to move the green square okay now you can get a new a new scope now we can hide hide this and uh, select select the seismic data you can get a small error small error of, we can get a small error of seismic data it's a small error and the, the original is a big error original is big error and the cropped the cropped cropped is a small error small error data and uh, you can get um, accurate error scope just uh, double double click seismic data cropped cropped and uh, this is uh, settings for seismic data crop and click cropping cropping and you can input some number say the range inline range you can change the four three five and uh, this is uh, and two two hundred and uh, vertical range you can change to three five zero zero you can skip one skip one and uh, if you input one skip so the seismic inter nine in, in nine or cross nine maybe maybe spare spare we we'll skip we we'll skip zero and turn back to zero okay no here is a uh, now it's cropped and uh, have you if you Get the crop seismic data and uh, right click, right click this crop seismic data and uh, click the last one. Realize, realize, setting for seismic data crop and realize our uh, operations. Realize, realize, we can. Set the realization quality. It's an integer, integer eight bit. You can change to integer sixteen bit. It cost uh, realize uh, volume is uh, three hundred, three hundred MB. And if you choose uh, eight bit, the realized volume is uh, one hundred and sixty five. MB and if you choose a float point it the last volume is uh, size is uh, 600 606 MB and uh, just and uh, here is a uh, high quality and the middle quality and the low quality so here we get uh, high quality use uh, floating point 32 floating point 32 just click the last here it make a new seismic data cropped and the last just click
click OK. Now we can hide this one, just show this one. The seismic data realized is same as the seismic data, but uh, they are different. The seismic data realized is realized, and the data is saved in the project data of the petrol. But the original data, seismic data, is not saved in the petrol project. Here, you can see the file, original file name. Here, seismic data is uh, saved in the original place. Original place. And uh, information, click. And this curve, this is a thick one. This data is saved, saved in the project pro folder. Just uh, check. Here, chaining, chaining to sound and uh, point uh, PTD. Okay, this file. This file. Here, this file. This file is uh, seismic data. And this file is save, saved, uh, saved in the Petro project folder here. And uh, this file, the original name, the original seismic data is saved uh, here. Training data, training data, seismic data is here, is here. You can change, find the place, data place. So here, the original seismic data, just a link, this one, seismic data, just a link. It's not saved in the. He is not. Uh, it is not. It is not saved in the project. This data just a link, but this data is saved in the project. Project. So this is a re realized. Realized. Okay. Now we can show the data and the, the data is same as uh, is same as the project same as the uh, same okay we can get uh, these now we can hide hide this one and hide this a new seismic so again saved okay that's the first step it's uh realize realize now we need to uh, do the interpretation how to do the interpretation we can Use a seismic, original seismic. We can use a realized seismic. Just uh, right click, right click in nine or cross nine, and uh, create new interpretation window. You can get a new interpretation window here. Yeah.
You can move. Use the uh, use the mouse and uh, move. If you press press control and uh, shift move, it's uh, zoom in or zoom out. And uh, press control and uh, shift. Move to the horn. Move to the horn. Move to the left. Move the right click, uh, left click. Move to the horn is uh, adjust the scale. And move, move to the right. It's enlarge the vertical, vertical scale. And this is a move. Okay. Now we have the built a new interpretation window. Yeah. And here is a X9. X9. And the number is X9571. And we can click player and uh, intersecting player. Here, you can use this to to move the section and the step plane forward. It's five hundred and eight one. Increment is ten. If you change the increment to one, the page will be moved one by one. And uh, this one is uh, playing to the end. End. And the back to end. And key is uh, play forward automatically. Okay, you can stop. Stop. And uh, this is uh, play one, one, one by one. Okay. Now you can change the this double click here. You can set for settings for seismic data, and uh, you can use uh, don't show the bitmap and uh, show the regis. Regis is this tab. Sometimes, if you want to choose the regs, you you need to change this. Let's feel positive, and the uh, interval is uh, one. Change to one, and uh, manual gain is four. Now, and you can show both bitmap and regs. Uh, it's uh, these tabs, and uh, usually I, I use this bitmap, is okay. Yeah. Just uh, see. And here, And here, okay. Can you hear me? Can you hear me?
No, can you hear me? Can you hear me? Can you hear me? I think uh, my voice is uh, normal. And uh, Okay, I think my radio is normal, yeah. Okay, let's come back. And uh, here is a seismic uh, interpretation window, yeah. You can use the mouse, the middle button is uh, move zoom in or zoom out and uh, left click left to move to move and uh, press control and shift move to left is minimize the vertical scale and uh, move right Move right is uh, enlarge the vertical scale. Okay. If you want to, if you want to open a new seismic window, you can here use here interpretation window. No, here, and in this window you can show the cross line, cross line. No, here. There are three window, one three D window, one interpretation window of in nine, and uh, one interpretation window of cross nine. Here, window layout. Just uh, use the tilt vertical. You can get three windows, three windows. It's show in the screen. You can adjust the windows error. Okay. Fast nine, in nine. This is uh, fast nine. And here is uh, in nine, in nine. Here is cross nine. Okay, so here is uh, interpretation window. And uh, now we need to uh, show how to do the interpretation. Okay, how to do the synthetic generation. And uh, integrated seismic tie, seismic tie. This one. And uh, here we need to find out the uh, where. Check short, check short data. Check short data is x51, x51. And uh, we find x51. Here, here is x51. We need to click. Here, manipulate, manipulate plane, and move, move, just move, move here, and uh, this one, the E9 is changed, 605. 
here. Now, this A9 contains the wheel X1, X51. And now, we need to show this wheel. Click. Now, this window is activated. The yellow arrow shows the active window. This yellow is active. And choose, choose X51, but there is no wheel. There is no wheel. Why? Because there is no time depth relationship of this wheel. We need to double click the wheels X51 and open the settings for X51. And click the time, time, and uh, choose check short, and uh, move to the top, the topest. Move to the topest. Just use the arrow. And uh, menu adjust. Click here. Menu adjustment. And uh, wheel tops one. Click wheel tops one, and uh, select to here. Select to here wheel tops one, and click run. Okay. Now we get uh, one way time. We get a uh, one way time. This is time depth relationship. Click OK. Now, here, the X51 is here. Click again. Click again. X51 show in the suspect line. Here. Here is uh, X51 well, and here is uh, X51 in the this in the section in the section. And uh, you must uh, double click here, time, and create a uh, one way time and the time depth relationship. Use the check short, click run. You can get the wheel. Otherwise, you can't show the wheel in the seismic line. Okay. Now, here is uh, X51. X51. And we can show the wheel tops here. Wheel tops here. Wheel tops is here. Two shots, wheel tops. And uh, wheel tops, you can show the wheel tops. And uh, the wheel tops, we need to uh, adjust uh, the settings. Here, default, show the depth, Z, Z, and uh, we can click on select, on select it, and uh, select the surface. Show the surface and uh, double click the surface. Double click the wheel tops, attributes, the surface, and uh, the place style. It's uh, upper right left, uh, right up. We can select the position, show the position right here, right. Okay. And uh, we need a top click wheel tops. Top click wheel tops. Wheel tops one. And uh, we need to uh, change the symbol. The default symbol is square. And need to uh, change to cross. Apply. And the uh, yellow or post black color. Color is uh, black, 
I change the color to into white. Into white. Okay. So it's a uh, and uh, there are two many horn. They can hide hide some horn. Just uh, unselect here. Well tops stratigraphy. Unselect all stratigraphy. Just choose some main stratigraphy. Yes, one boat. Yes, two boat. A two two boat. Two three boat. Two three boat. Two four boat. Two five boat. Two six boat. Two seven boat. Boat. Okay. Let's say some main horn. Main horn. Yeah. Uh, just uh, the relationship time depth relationship is uh, from the check shot check shot if you want to uh, show all the wheels here if you want to show this wheel x5 5.3 just uh, click here and move this click here, yeah, move to this, this place. But this place do not cross the X5, X51. And uh, now we need to change, need to change. Okay, move to here, this survey. Seismic data here. Double click in nine. Double click in nine. And uh, input setting. Input setting. This uh, distance limit is one thousand meter. Here means uh, near the section. One thousand meter. The wheels will be show show on the section. We need to change this to. 100 meters, 100 meters, distance limit, 100 meter. So this, this well can't be shown in the shape, this section. Okay. Now, here is a new well, X5, 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 and uh, 53. Here, we need to find out the, this, this wheel, X5, X5, 3. Now, here is green, here is green, can't be shown in the section, can't be shown, cannot be shown. Now, we need to... Uh, if you want to show all the show all the wells, we need a double click wells, double click wells, and uh, click ten, and uh, from shield check shot, from shield check shot, click from shield. Share, share, check short. We need to share, check short. Share. Okay, click here. We need to click X51, check short, X51. And uh, click run. No. You can see that all the wheels, all the wheels have the time depth relationship. All wheels have the time depth relationship. Here, it's X531. Here, this one, this wheel can be showed in the K5. 
here. And uh, this will maybe maybe other wells we need to hide. Click this one. Surface, well tops, height. And uh, we need to hide the wheels, wheels, height. Sorry. At the rails. Sorry, it's uh, here is uh, 3D is uh, activated. Now we need to uh, active this window. And uh, here is a wheel filter. Under the wheel tops is stratigraphy. And here is wheel filter. Unselect all wheels just to show some choose wheels x51 and x53 no this is a uh, show the wheels no you can see that here this domain Set domain is uh, TWT. TWT is means uh, two way time, is time domain. TVD is depth domain. But uh, because the seismic is time domain, so the seismic data cannot be shown. Cannot be shown. And uh, any, any is. Uh, in is time domain and uh, depth domain. So the well, wheels show the depth domain, but the seismic data is time domain. So if we if to any, so the depth is not matched with uh, seismic. And uh, if you show TWT. Here is uh, have the relationship and the time domain. So they, if you choose the uh, TWT, so the depth, the will is time domain, and the seismic is time domain too. Okay, now we can get this. So the this. Now we need to. Uh, to the next step, make synthetic generation. How to do a make synthetic generation? Here, let's come back to the come back to the the former the former lines. Okay, zero. You can input, input, just input the number. And you can use the click the window, click the window, active the, win, the interpretation window. You can use the press the button, keyboard, page up or page down, page up or page down to change the sequence. It's the same as the uh, here. You can press page up, page up, or page up or page down. You can change. You can change too. Okay.
Okay, have a break. Have a break for 10 minutes. Now let's continue our class. Just now we have to how to cut the seismic cube and how to relax the seismic data and how to make the time depth uh, relationship according to the well tops of check shot check shot data. And now we need to show uh, I will show you how to make the uh, synthetic so run. Okay, just here. Choose the seismic interpretation, and uh, click seismic real time. Now we can choose a wheel. Choose a wheel. X five one. Choose the wheel X five one because this wheel has a check short data, and. Uh, the first step is uh, make sonic calibration. Sonic calibration, okay. Okay, now come back. Click the seismic well time. Here is the seismic well time. And uh, here, the first step is uh, sonic calibration. Here are say four steps: sonic calibration and uh, synthetic generation, and integrate seismic well time and the depth uh, seismic calibration. Okay, so the first is uh, sonic calibration, and uh, choose X51 because this you can choose other wells, but other wells uh, don't have the check shot data. Now the X51 has a check short data and the sonic knock sonic knock delta T is uh, choose here automatically and output you can choose a uh, use uh, normal auto shift click auto shift auto shift or settings and uh, datum datum if you if your project it's a marine project. You need to select marine data. If your project is a land project, you need to choose a land data. data. Here, our project is from land. So we choose a, a land data. And uh, click here is, uh, there are some others. Uh, the replacement velocity and other settings, we all use the default data. And uh, time tips dot, time tips, and the options, and the statistics, they just use the default. Okay, now we can, we can click apply. Now, the sonic calibration is uh, built here. Here, sonic calibration. Here, and uh, we can. It's same as a wheel section window. It's same as a wheel section window. And uh, here, this column is uh, TWT two way time, and the second column is uh, TVD. The uh, two vertical depths, two vertical depths, and uh, some other. Uh, Clone. There are some other clone. And here we can check the data. Check the data. Here. X51. Just uh, delta T AC. Right click. 
Okay. The last one is uh, 0 0.01. Just uh, click here, select the last one, and click the delete. Okay. And uh, move to the top paste. Okay, that's okay. Yeah. Click. And the second, we need a. Uh, after this, we need to select create study. And uh, now we needn't use a uh, sonic calibration. We just choose the second step, synthetic generation, synthetic generation. And uh, now the well is choose X51 and then template. Use the template, normal template, and uh, active TDR active for well. Use this one and uh, wavelet, wavelet. Just uh, click here, wavelet. Here, wavelet. We can use the uh, Ricker Ricker wavelet. It's a uh, analytic. Ricker, and you can choose other other uh, wavelet. Here, just uh, choose uh, Ricker wavelet. It's a uh, wavelet, and here is a power spectrum and the freeze spectrum. Okay. Here, it's changed the Ricker one, Ricker one, Rick wavelet, and uh, seismic data. You can use the uh, seismic data here. You can choose other. Each one is okay. Each one is okay. And they use uh, normal seismic data. And uh, here is uh, RC accumulation. You can use the uh, sonic velocity and the density. And here we have the sonic and uh, density. After that, can change to output and click auto saved all auto saved all and uh, other is uh, unselect a screen and the style you can change the color no we use um, default setting okay no just click okay Now here, we can get this one, this one, and uh, now we can move, move this, move this, and here, here is a uh, wavelet, power spectrum, and the free spectrum. And this is seismic data around the wheel. And this term is uh, synthetic, synthetic, and uh, you can move here. And uh, this one, this one is uh, seismic data, work, work, work. And here, this is uh, the top is strong, and uh, the this part is weak. This part is weak. We need to check the data. Check the data of the X51. Well logs. Well log. We check the density data. Density data. Okay, where is the density data? Okay, density here. Double click. Spreadsheet. Okay, check the data. The bottom data is uh, normal, and uh, the upper data move to the top is the first is zero 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 zero. We must uh, delete this uh, abnormal data. Okay, from the two thousand and nine, uh, two hundred and nine, uh, and to the first, and um, press uh, shift, press shift, and click here. You can choose. You can select this part, abnormal data, and just delete 
click delete select uh, rows in the table and uh, use apply apply click ok now this sensor ticket is changed it's changed now we can move change the change this change the scale scale okay change the scale you can get the sensor tick and here is a uh, system get data on the bill and uh, this column is uh, sensor tick sensor tick and uh, here now we can if you not uh, if you do not uh, satisfy with this sensitive, you can change the reference, change the, some parameters. You can do the change, for example, and uh, click system conveyor tag again. So here is uh, edit study sensitive generation, sensitive generation. Now we can change the input. We can change the uh, wavelet. Click here. Just use uh, now it's a uh, Ricker Ricker. Now it's a uh, Ricker wavelet. We can change new and uh, use uh, second statistic 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 one and the near the wheel. And the seismic data, you can get uh, this one. This one is a uh, different wavelet. Okay. Apply. Okay. Now here we use a second wavelet, statistics, statistical one wavelet, and uh, other uh, parameter we don't 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 change. Okay. Now. Here exist the synthetic again. It changed. It changed. Maybe it's uh, better than the weaker wavelet. Okay, now we can create new study here. You can choose the integrate system over here here, and uh, this is the same. The same. And the uh, input data, and uh, here you can use the uh, statistic, statistic, and uh, output, auto shift, data, non data, non data, statistics, input, time depth. You can set uh, all this, we use a uh, default. Default. Okay. Just uh, Sonic GDR and uh, wavelet use uh, statistics and uh, okay. Click okay. Okay. Now it's uh, changed. It's changed. This is a statistical wavelet, uh, power, power spectrum, and uh, freeze spectrum. Okay. And uh, here, move this one. It's a uh, wavelet, uh, wavelet, and uh, here is the seismic data around the wheel, and here is the uh, synthetic, synthetic. And uh, there are some other drift and uh, into interval velocity and residual and uh, cross correlation. Cross correlation. Okay. Now we can match match the synthetic with the seismic uh, data. Now, now we can show the. 
Where tops? Okay. The tops. Yeah. And the stratigraphy just uh, show some main two to one two to two two to three two to four two to five two to six to the same pot. Okay. Yeah. Here. And uh, if you want to, if you don't uh, want to uh, show all this, you can hide. You can hide. Click here, template. 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 You can hide some content. You can hide some content. Yeah. And uh, you can hide uh, this. 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 Apply. Hide. Hide some. Something. Okay. Okay. You can hide some. Okay. Take it. Average. Okay. This. You can hide. Hide the content. If you hide the drift, you put interval. Hide. The red part height and the uh, residual residual height. Okay, now you can get this, and uh, you can show the seismic data. Yeah, two seismic data. Here is seismic data, synthetic, and uh, seismic data again. Yeah. Okay, yeah. Yeah. It's the same. This is uh, seismic data now the wheel. The second is uh, seismic data now wheel. And here is uh, this one. Now, you need to match. Match the synthetic to the seismic data. How do you do that? We need to uh, click here. Real time. Real time editing. Okay, so the tour plate and uh, make up card. Now, here is uh, click edit mode. Edit mode here. Now, you can see that uh, is uh, this is knees at the check shot and knees at markers and the needs knee point, the needs all knees. And here is at the bulk shift time nine. Bulk. Here, you will want to this one is uh, click here. Now, at the bulk shift nine is activated. Click here. Here is at a uh, red nine, red nine and the red number. Red nine and red number is uh, bug shift time, and uh, you can shift and apply. It's bug shift. That's is bug shift. If you want to delete the bug shift, just uh, click here. Delete, delete bug bug shift. And it change back, it change back. So here, and uh, do it again. Okay, back shift. Okay, I think it's uh... okay. Now applying, applying. Okay, you can. apply and uh, you click here again it make a green lines a green line a green line a green line is uh, this a nine point a nine point green line is a nine point you can 
make some green line here and uh, a nine point a nine point okay if you want to delete all a nine point just uh, delete all three green lines green lines okay click green lines okay you need to match the peak to the peak and the top to the top okay now i think it's uh it's okay i think it's okay now now here we get the uh, real time real time editing that's okay. Now, we, if we use this here, click here, uh, we need to uh, change back to the interpretation window here, and uh, X51. Now, is use the check shot data check shot relationship if you want to use uh, seismic tie integrate seismic tie intermediate integrate seismic real time output and can calibrate it and this one just move to the topest and uh, run it changed it changed the time depth relationship changed to this one this one if you want to use a check shot check shot put to the up paste run it changed it changed and uh, use a system uh, seismic real time you need to uh, move to the artist and uh, you can unselect this one yeah okay just uh, run it changed it changed now okay so that's uh, the process of the that's a process of the synthetic generation and uh, integrated seismic wheel type that's this step that's step, that's step. Okay, the next step, we need to uh, do the foot interpretation, foot interpretation. Now, okay, after we match the, this, we can interpret the foot. Okay, foot. So how to interpret the foot? We need to uh, see the reflection reflection this part and this part the shrinking is uh, disconnected here is must afford here must afford and this part this reflection and this reflection is uh, disconnected here must uh, afford okay now we can see from here to here it's a fault and uh, the second foot and the third foot and the fifth foot and here is a foot too so we need to change we need to find out the foot and uh, do the interpretation now if you do the interpretation foot interpretation how to do the foot interpretation we need to click the seismic interpretation toolbar box here and we can close close the tool seismic real time and now here's a seismic interpretation here tool plate this is a menu 
uh, interpretation is uh, Horan, Horan, and uh, get it auto tracking for Horan, and uh, see it two D auto tracking for Horan, and uh, see it three D auto tracking for Horan, and here interpret fault. Now we need to uh, interpret fault. At first we need to uh, insert a fault. Just uh, click insert here. Insert a fault. Now here. Interpretation folder. Under the seismic folder, main folder. Here, interpretation folder. Now here is a fault interpreting one. And you can change the name and uh, you can rename the fault one or F1, F1, or Fort one You can give a name, give a fault name, F1, okay. Now, and uh, here, now, F1 is active. You click the F1 and uh, it uh, become port it means the F1 is active. Now you can click here, interpretation fault, active this tool. You can, you can interpret the fault. And uh, here. And uh, if you want to hide the wheels and the wheel tops, just uh, show the Simple, simple, just uh, get nine. Here, I think here is a fault from here to here. And uh, I use this fault to, a uh, fault one, F1 to interpret this fault from here to here. Just click. You can draw the fault stick. Double click for to end. Up click to end. Now here is a fault. F1. F1. And uh, you can't use the F1 to interpret the other, another, the second uh, fault. You can't. You can't do this. You, you can't do like this. Okay. Just uh, use the eraser to it. Now here, this this one is F1, and uh, we need to change to the next uh, lines, and uh, we need to change the increment to ten or five. Here, I change the increment to ten, and uh, move to the next. Next, next uh, nine. Okay, next nine is uh, six hundred and fifteen. Now here is a fault. Just click fault interpretation, and uh, from here you must uh, use the same fault name to interpret the same fault. Okay, just uh, press page down, it's back, page up, page up to the next here, and uh, page up to the next. Page up. The next. If you can't judge the fault, you need to change the increment to one, one by one, one by one. Yeah.
Okay, if you have a error, have a error, you you can erase erase it erase it. Okay, you need to uh, interpret, and uh, you can come back. Page page down, page down. Here, find the same fault. Find the same fault. The same fault. You need to get. You need to draw the fault stick one by one. Until there is low fault. Okay, here is low fault. It's low fault. And uh, it's this one here. It's come back. Come back to check. To check. Press uh, page down. And uh, page up. Page down to the this this side. Just press the uh, page down. I think here is low fault. Okay, so now we have interpret one fault. This is foot one. Let's check, check the foot. Just uh, show in the three D window. Click foot F one. Here is the foot F one F one. Is the foot F one. Now we can interpret the other foot. So here it's a wrong. It's wrong. Okay. You need. You need. Okay. Here, I think. I think here is a second fault. Second fault. You need to insert a fault and uh, give a name. F two. F two. Second fault and interpret just uh, the now the second fault F2 is uh, activated and uh, here the tool is activated. Inter uh, fault interpret interpret fault tools is active now can interpret so the second fault is green the first fault is uh, the color you can change the color color is blue. Okay, now it's a uh, press page page down page down page down here. Okay.
There is no fault. Okay, press page up to back. Page up, back. Okay, here is a second. Okay, there is no fault. So we can check the second fault here and uh, show the fault. The second fault is from here to here. And this part, there is no fault. No fault of F2. Okay, we can see. And now we can. We need to interpret the third, third, click here. There are too many, there are too many faults. And I think here is a third fault, third fault, just uh, insert, fault, and give a name. Name is F3. F3. Okay. Now, F3 is activated and uh, the tool is activated. We can interpret from here to here. Okay. And press page down or page up. Page up is okay. Yeah. Okay, so the the third fault is a small fault. So I think here is no fault and uh, maybe here is just uh, a fault. And uh, come back, page, page down to check. Press page down to check again. Okay, here. Click here. Page up. Page up, page down. Okay, maybe it's here. Okay, I think here is low fault. Okay, now. This is uh, F3, and uh, we can check here and uh, show F3 is here. Yeah, you can hide the horn, uh, horn time slash. This uh, F1, F2, F3. So the rest fault. Maybe there are F4, F5, F6, and so on. You need to give name one by one. Each fault, each fault name can only interpret one fault. For example, if you use this fault to interpret 
this foot and uh, interpret this foot and uh, interpret this foot now you can see that it's wrong it's wrong you can't get the foot plane you can't get the foot plane no so that's is wrong you can't use the same foot to interpret a different foot now you need uh, your master erase must erase this click erase you is here is here and uh, you can undo and uh, you can erase in the you can erase it in the 3d window here if you want to here is a normal a normal point you can erase here just erase here erase here it's the uh, same okay Now, here is the third foot, third foot, and uh, you need to uh, in interpret foot four. Okay, now you can click here, foot four. If here is a foot and uh, active the tool and uh, now foot four is uh, active you can interpret here page down here Okay, so here's low fault. Here's low fault. Come back. If you want to change the point, please just uh, you say this point, select point, and you can add point and move the point to the right place. Right place. Okay. So here is uh, this this fault is uh, fault four and uh, just uh, check it down okay click and uh, pay jump pay jump here check here Okay, here there is no fault. You can finish this fault interpretation. Now let's check F4 is here from here to here. Okay, we I can't uh, can ask you all the interpretation of fault. This this fault you need to uh, finish the for the interpretation by yourself and uh, one by one you need to uh, choose and uh, you need to finish all the thought 
in the in this and uh, the increment um needs uh, 10 10 the increment increment is 10 to interpret this and uh, there are some other fault here 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 and uh, here here and here is uh this there there is a fault you need to uh, add the name add the name okay okay here is uh, another fault you need to uh, add insert fault file f file Okay, so we can interpret for the file. Just use a page down or page up. You can change the page. Okay, so it's uh, finished in this direction and uh, come back to another direction. Here is uh, okay, so that's a uh, fit for five for five. Okay, and you need to uh, finish all the fourth interpretation. Now, here is the uh, fourth interpretation. So the next, after you finish the, the fourth interpretation, so the interpretation increment, 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 increment by 10, increment by 10. Okay, so increment is here, here, increment is here by 10. If your increment is uh, 20, so the fourth stick is uh, less, is less. And if your increment, increment is five, the fourth stick may be more dense, more dense, more dense. Okay. Uh, okay, so the next, we need to uh, show the horn, horn interpretation, horn interpretation. How to do the horror interpretation? Now, come back to here, and uh, we can change to here. And uh, we need to move to six five six zero five. Begin, because in this section we can. Show the where and show the where tops here, and uh, we can get the get this get this please get this please. Now we need to interpret the horn in our training task. We need to interpret the ES22 bot and the ES27 bot. Yeah, just uh, how to interpret the horn. Just uh, insert seismic horn. Now seismic horn is here, and uh, seismic horn Y is a uh, normal is default. Ooh. You can double click information and uh, change the name. And let's uh, hold one or change the T. T is for time, time the domain. And uh, 
yes, yes, to to boot, to to boot, and uh, here. Yeah, it means this one. And uh, how to interpret this? Just uh, click here. Seismic interpretation here. Yeah? These four tools, these four tools are for the horror interpretation. The first is the manual interpretation. Click here, and uh, now T, yes to do both is activated. You can click here. Here, just uh, track this peak. Track this peak. Double click for end. Double click. Double click. And uh, here to here, which one? You must judge. Here is a fault. And uh, move. And here is a fault. Just and uh, this side. This side. Where is it? Where is it? You need to charge. Charge by yourself. Here. This one, this one, maybe this one, and this part, maybe this part. Okay, maybe here because there is low veils, it's difficult, it's difficult because there is no fault. No, the veils. Okay, so we have interpret this one and uh, hide. We need to show the interpret result in the 3D window. Okay, we can hide the fault and show the torrent here. And we can hide the, hide the, this one, this line. This line is this interpret fault, the result. Okay, now. If you want to change to the other, you need to press next, next. Okay, the next. Sorry. The next is uh, here. Just uh, we have judged here is the red, the red, red reflect. Now we can use the second tools guided auto tracking here, here, just from here to here. Double click. Maybe it's uh, auto track the peak. It will auto track the peak. And uh, here, auto track the peak. Here is the result. And uh, here. Okay. And uh, this side, this side, this is here, this is here, here, and uh, here is here, maybe here is here. You can check your back. Okay.
this one turn back okay so you need to uh, interpret one by one here we have interpret uh, two nines two nines and uh, you can use the cross nine cross nine here cross nine is here and uh, show the fault in cross nine okay the cross nine fault is uh, have the abnormal feature just uh, here from here to here and uh, show the cross nine here and uh, cross nine is here is uh, interpret the horn you can use this or the track or this the third one third one is uh auto track to the seated seated to the auto tracking just to give a seed it auto track auto track and here here on the track but uh here i think it's uh, it's wrong here this part is wrong you need to erase this part and uh, i think here is the correct place you need to give a seat here now here is uh interpret from here to here okay let's check here now we finished three nice three nice interpret interpretation of the horn it's just uh, this one and now we can change to the next okay here we can change we can track again track again track again here and here here and this one we need to track this click the search tools is uh seat auto track okay so you need to finish all the this and uh, if you want to track here use this force force tools is 3d 3d auto track just give a seat this error auto tracked but there are some error there's this is the error this is the error let's see the error so you need to erase you can press plus for change the pick change pick and press minus to small change small plus to change press plus to change the big and erase erase the wrong error erase wrong error and give a new seat give a new seat to track again you need to delete the wrong error wrong error and give a new seat so third 3d auto tracking is quickly but uh, there are some some wrong error there's some wrong error so let's say you can page down page down here page up this this area is uh, this area is uh, wrong okay so you need to check you need to check here where is wrong this part this part is wrong this part and uh, if you opened 
mini windows you need to click here track track all cruisers active this track all cruisers so you need you you may find you you move the mouse and this part other wind will show the position of your mouse here you can see which one where is uh wrong where is wrong you, you can okay so you can delete this part this part is wrong this part is wrong okay now you can here page down page down this part is wrong the part is wrong you can get the new seats new seats in correct in new place gives seats and uh, maybe somewhere is wrong too because the color is uh, changed to a blue mode, change abrupt the color change abruptly is uh, means the depth the depth or the time is uh, change changing dramatically okay this one so i think the you'd better interpret the horn by 2d auto track because 3d auto track maybe make uh, some wrong error so how to delete the 3d error so we can hide the other imported menu and 2d and so just to show the 3d 3d auto track and uh, delete erase all the 3d 3d error and show 2d here and show menu menu part sorry his part maybe is run through and uh, show other you can get this one this part so you would better uh, interpret the current by the 2d track and uh, it's okay so 2d track if you use a 2d track you can control the call it you can control the code if you if you use the 3d track or the track maybe you can't find some error place you can't control the you cannot control the quality so i have to the how to do the this interpretation of horn and if you want to interpret the another horn here it change to 605 change back here and uh, you can the name this is 2t T E S two two seven port a new name here and uh, use this name to check check this sorry this one is uh, no this is a two 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 port is activated you can use this undo and click click here now TES227 port is activated now we can track here and here here 
and here just uh, use uh, 2D auto tracking is okay I think and uh, you can control the quality here some sometimes it doesn't work so you must use the menu menu you must use this menu menu interpretation do it this part okay so here is uh, a foot you can erase erase now it's a uh, second 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 column and you can shift to the next page and uh, track this one this one this one this one so here you must use this menu you can draw it you can draw it if you want to change just uh, draw it again it's changed okay so you can do that and uh, you can change uh, this and you can do the interpretation in the cross line and show show it in the cross line here you can track track here track here okay this one this one you need to track track and uh, this this is uh, here maybe here and here here okay so you can show the interpret interpretation results interpretation results here and uh, this part is a yes to two seven bolt you need to finish all the lines interpretation of the horn okay so the task is uh, an increment is 10 and uh, the horn is uh, t T yes two 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 bolt and uh, and uh, T yes two two seven bolt okay so i think uh, this class we need to uh, inter, inter, uh, introduce this this part and uh, the rest we need to uh, introduce in the next class and uh, after 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 that we need to uh, uh, take time we need to take time to practice practice how to do the synthetic generation and how to integrate seismic real time and how to do the fault interpretation and finish the all fault finish finish all fault all fault interpretation 
and uh, practice Horan interpretation. Increment is term and uh, interpret to Horan's and T yes to two bolt and T yes to the seven bolt. So that's uh, all about uh, our class of today. You the rest time you must uh, to practice by yourself. Practice by yourself. Okay. So I will finish the record. And uh